You killed somebody! Stay right there! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! It's usually the officers in blue who step in to save the day, but even heroes need assistance every now and then. No. And who better to help than some brave Samaritans? From literally putting their lives at risk to stopping a high-speed chase with their vehicles, these civilians' courage has no end. Praising all those citizens who came to the rescue. Stay tuned. As in today's video, I'm going to reveal some incredible stories of real civilians who teamed up with law enforcement to catch suspects. Number one, routine traffic stop turns violent. When this female officer pulled over a suspect for speeding, I bet she had no idea the situation would turn so violent. She asks the man for his license and registration, but instead of actually listening to the officer, he steps out of his vehicle and charges at her. She tries to keep things under control and advises the suspect to sit on the curb, but he's clearly not right in the head. He begins to yell, telling the officer he's not going to sit on the curb, and that's when things get out of hand. The officer shoves the man and tries to cuff him, but he resists. And that's when he sees several brave civilians come rushing to aid. An elderly woman also comes to the rescue and helps the officer and the other civilians keep the man down until backup arrives and takes him away. Honestly, these are the types of videos that restore my faith in humanity. Number two, Eugene saves the day. Believe it or not, this man is actually fighting an officer because he stopped him for jaywalking. Yes, it's a rule set to prevent people from getting hit by cars, but I don't know why this guy decided to attack the officer. And from the looks of it, the odds are in his favor as well, since he has the officer flat on his back as he takes some nasty swings at him. That is before Eugene steps in to save the day. He comes rushing to the officer's help with another Samaritan, jumping in to help apprehend the suspect. I think we should all try to be like Eugene. Number three, older man saves deputy. Straight off the bat, you can tell this guy is trouble. The officer is trying to get him to calm down, but he seems very agitated and just won't listen. The cop eventually gets the situation under control, but as soon as he's about to cuff the suspect, things get out of hand. The suspect starts fighting back and the body cam footage goes blank. So when the video resumes, we have another officer pulling up to the scene. But if you look closely, you'll see an old man getting his hands dirty with the officers as they arrest him. He has a cut on his forehead and arm, and from the looks of it, they seem like some serious injuries. But this brave man is unhinged and helps the officers carry out the arrest before explaining what went down in detail. It turns out, when the first officer's body cam footage went blank, it turned into a nasty altercation, and the senior citizen had to step in to help. And while he did take some hits, he single-handedly helped the cop subdue this suspect to the very end. Number four, technique is more important than size. By the end of this video, I think you'll agree how this officer did a great job at assisting the civilian with this arrest. When the video first starts off, the man who was helping the cop is letting the cop take the lead as they both try to cuff this aggressive suspect. The officer is literally struggling to get this guy restrained, but when the civilian notices this, he tells the cop to sit back and let him take the lead. And why not? Because believe it or not, this guy is actually a BJJ student. It's a perfect example of how technique is way more important than size because the way he slithers and traps the suspect is just incredible. Of course, the cop plays his role by keeping the troublemaker pinned to the ground. But the way this civilian takes over the arrest is crazy. Oh, and in a way, not only did the BJJ expert save the cop, but he also saved the life of this suspect who tried to reach for the officer's firearm. Because when a suspect tries to do that, the police have full authority to use deadly force. Either way, this guy deserves to be recognized for insane skill and calmness during such a pressure situation. Number five. Civilian saves pregnant officer's life. This is when things start to get intense, ladies and gentlemen. This guy is clearly on a power trip as he almost hits a biker while evading the officer. But it's clear he wants trouble as he turns back and tries to ram the police vehicle with a pregnant officer inside. 
He eventually gets out of his car and strikes the windshield a few times, doing some serious damage, before running off again. I think at this point he's realized he has an advantage since the cop is pregnant, but it's a bad day for this suspect as he attempts to steal a car from the wrong guy. As soon as he whips open the door, a man steps out, puts him in a chokehold, and has him on the ground. The officer is finding an opening to tase him, but the man clearly has a lot of adrenaline going and manages to fight back two people. But just as he's about to escape the chokehold, the civilian pulls off, perhaps the cleanest armbar I've ever seen. And that's when it's game over for this suspect. It doesn't take long before backup arrives on the scene to make the arrest. Number six, one slice of justice. This pizza guy probably had no idea this delivery would end up being the most eventful thing in his entire life. The sun's out as it's a beautiful Sunday afternoon in Philadelphia. He's waiting at the doorstep with some piping hot pizza when all of a sudden he hears sirens in the distance. An entire squad of cop cars pull into the neighborhood as they chase a suspect inside a stolen vehicle. He gets a little closer to see what's going on, and that's exactly when the criminal gets out of the car and attempts to run for it. The pizza guy probably gets about five seconds of reaction time, but damn, does he do things perfectly? He trips the suspect as he's running past him, allowing cops to quickly catch up and cuff him. Oh, and he did all that without wasting a single slice of pizza. I hope this brave civilian got a huge tip that day. Number seven, drunk driver stopped by civilian. This is a tragic story. This guy in the black hoodie is trying to flee the scene after hitting an officer's car and taking his life. He's under the influence, but it's clear he's not going to get far as this enraged civilian chases him. Now, this loser almost knocks himself out by falling face first on the bricks, but he's soon pinned down by the Samaritan. I just can't understand why people drink and drive and put themselves and innocent lives at risk. I hope this idiot is in jail right now. Number eight, step it up. This officer is investigating a call he received about a troubled man in a gray shirt. He's asking some people if they've seen the suspect, but just as he's about to walk away, he spots him trying to escape. He asks him whether he needs some help or anything, but the suspect is clearly out of his mind as he attempts to fight the officer. Now, I can't really tell in the body cam footage, but it seems like he lands a clean shot at the officer that causes him to go down. Just as he's about to make his great escape, the cop mutters the words, step it up, spawning a brave civilian who leads the chase. He soon catches up to him and literally body slams him on the pavement. It's easy to work after that as the officer cuffs him up with the help of these brave civilians. But damn, from the looks of it, it seems like that guy was waiting for this moment his entire life. Absolutely perfect execution. Number nine, schooled by grandpa. This suspect was attempting to flee the cops outside of a busy library in Ohio without knowing that he'd get schooled by a grandpa. Just as he thinks he's gotten away with a significant head start, this grandpa quickly extends a leg and trips the suspect, with him falling face first into the pavement. And when you think about it, not only did this heroic old man potentially save the lives of everyone around him, but he also saved the suspect life as well, because the officer who was chasing him had a 9mm pistol with 29 rounds and had the situation escalated, the use of deadly fire could have happened any second. Yeah, the timing, execution, placement, everything about it was just perfect. I'm actually quite surprised how this elderly man was so quick to respond and save the day. Number 10, amazing work all around. This is a special one because it's not just the civilian who deserves a lot of respect for their actions, but it's the cop as well. These two officers are attempting to chase down an alleged car thief who's giving them a run for their money in the Texas heat. One of the officers starts to tire out and struggles to keep up. But that's when a good Samaritan pulls up right beside him. He asks him if he needs a ride, to which the cop says yes and gets in the car, with the driver dropping him right at the scene. Partner is making the arrest and how convenient for him to pop up at the perfect time to assist his partner. But here's the crazy bit. The driver who helped is undoubtedly a hero, 
But did you know the cop who made the arrest was born with just one arm? Imagine taking down a suspect with just one arm while carrying 20 pounds of gear. Absolutely incredible. Number 11, as good as an officer. The blue car is clearly being driven by either someone impaired or under the influence. It's weaving through traffic and putting everyone on the road at risk. He can't seem to drive in a straight line as he goes off road several times, only to dangerously swerve back into traffic. At one point, he completely loses control of the car as he spins out after going off road. Believe it or not, he's lucky since he stops just inches away from oncoming traffic, narrowly avoiding a devastating pileup. At this point, it seems like his car totaled, but what do you know? This guy is back on the road causing havoc again. He slams into another vehicle, pushing it off the road and endangering the lives of everyone on board. Thankfully, the cops show up on time before things get ugly and manage to stop the chase. So who was this guy following the vehicle? Well, it was actually a civilian reporting everything to 911 as he followed the out-of-control vehicle. Yup, his name is John, and what's incredible about this entire incident is that not only did he do the right thing, but also did it the right way. Number 12. Technically, a civilian, right? It all unfolded when this woman refused to put out her cigarette at the Honolulu International Airport. The TSA tried to calmly get things under control, but the lady refused. And that's when the agent had to use force to get her to put it out. But instead of complying, the woman started resisting, and things were clearly getting out of hand before this hero stepped in to save the day. He body slammed the lady and pinned her down before other officers finally showed up to make the arrest. Now, from the looks of it, the way he did that makes me feel like he's definitely had some training. And it turns out he's actually an off-duty cop who's technically a civilian in this situation, right? Either way, thankfully, this cop was at the right place at the right time to save the day. Number 13. Good Samaritans maintain order. The guy on the right just assaulted his wife with a knife, and while attempting to flee the scene, he ran into this civilian who had him at gunpoint as he waited for the cops to show up. The man with the knife keeps charging at the civilian, begging him to open fire and kill him so he doesn't face the consequences of his action. It's a dangerous situation because the civilian could be forced to shoot at any given moment if the suspect gets out of line. Another man in the black is also trying to control the situation and has a handy bottle of pepper spray in case something goes wrong. He's yelling at the public to quickly get out of the area and when he spots an opening, he peppers the suspect but is unable to get the knife. It's not long before the cops show up and get the man to comply with a complimentary taser shot to send him to the ground. But thanks to these two Samaritans, no one else got hurt and the police were able to catch the suspect without much effort. Number 14, Mr. Martin steps in. Now just for context, these female officers have been following the suspect for quite some time after reports of him headbutting a man in public. They have him cornered, but as soon as he spots this, he goes berserk, giving both the female officers a tough time. They initially have the situation under control, but it seems like this suspect is going to be more trouble than expected. But nothing to worry about, Mr. Martin is here. Mr. Martin is standing close by to see whether the officers need any help, and as soon as he notices things escalating, he quickly rushes into the action and apprehends the suspect. A couple of other Good Samaritans storm the crime scene and help the officers cuff this criminal. These officers are actually lucky Mr. Martin was there because there was actually a point when both of them fell to the ground and almost lost their firearms. Number 15, public justice. I don't know why this guy is acting so upset after going over 100 miles per hour in a 70 zone. And if I'm being honest, the cop actually handled the situation quite nicely and was willing to let him off with just a ticket. But God knows what got into this guy as he literally tackled the officer and threw him on the ground. The footage goes out, but we do get some stills of the suspect throwing some nasty punches at the officer. He even wrestles with him in the hopes of getting his gun, but when that fails, he attempts to flee the situation. Unfortunately, that's not going to be happening as a civilian with a gun arrives at the scene and gets him to come back. 
He makes one more attempt at getting away by trying to enter a tow truck, but the driver snatches him out. Both the bystanders pin the man down before backup finally arrives and takes him into custody. Honestly, the officer is lucky these two brave souls were there because this situation clearly wasn't in his favor. Number 16, crashing his car to stop a perp. This is an intense police chase as officers try to catch up with a speeding car traveling at dangerous speeds in a busy neighborhood. There's not a lot of context, but I'm guessing this guy is a repeat offender because there's no way several police cars are going to chase someone like that for a minor offense. Anyway, the perp is speeding through busy intersections and signals, and in the hopes of gapping the cops, the driver pulls off a crazy drift while making a right turn to get off the main road. Coming from ahead is a white van, and if you ask me, most drivers would just pull aside to give room to the cops to continue the pursuit, but not this dude. He literally crashes his car into the fleeing vehicle at the very last moment, giving this high-speed chase an abrupt ending. The police quickly whip out their weapons and have the driver step out, but this guy deserves mad respect. He was willing to sacrifice his van just so the cops could arrest this dangerous driver. Number 17, a scene out of a fast and furious movie. I'm not going to lie. I've only seen something like this go down in movies or my imagination. Anyway, it seems like the police already have the situation under control as this fleeing vehicle appears to be boxed in quite nicely. But they're having some difficulty getting him to slow down because at this rate, this chase could go on for hours. So, when the driver mistakenly pulls up right beside the truck, the cops know this is the perfect time to take him down. The leading cop car speeds up and tells the truck driver to match his speed as they attempt to stop the car. The cop slowly starts reducing his speed and the truck does the same, effectively bringing the suspect to a dead stop. Knowing the good he's done, the truck driver takes one last look at the scene before going back on his way. Number 18, wait for the ending. The police have been following this suspect around for quite some time, and when they finally have squared against the wall, they discover a firearm on him. It's not looking good for him, and he knows this, so in the hopes to somehow flee the scene, he starts to resist. I'm guessing he's probably trying to find an opening so he can shoot off on foot, but that's not about to happen, or at least, not on this good citizen's watch. The cop is facing some difficulty because he's holding onto the dude's firearm as well. So there's a risk of the perp grabbing it. But the Samaritan steps in to hold down this criminal while the cop quickly puts the gun in his vehicle. The cop then takes over and makes the arrest. But wanna hear the crazy bit now? The civilian who aided the cop was actually visually impaired. He wasn't completely blind, but he couldn't see much. And even then, he ignored everything just to help out this cop. Now that's what I call true courage. Number 19, an intense shootout. I saved the best for last, folks. This is intense footage as we see two cops roll up to respond to a neighbor's call about an active shooter. Now the shooter isn't anyone random, but it's actually another neighbor who likes to terrorize the street. The cops make contact and tell him to drop his weapon and step out, but this crazy guy opens fire and hits two cops. Fortunately, they're up and conscious, and with no one to ward off the shooter, it's the neighbors who have to pick up arms. These heroic civilians return fire to prevent the shooter from getting close as they wait for backup to arrive. The gunfight continues into the night as the entire street is covered with cops and special units to de-escalate the situation. After noticing he's cornered, the shooter eventually steps out and surrenders but if it wasn't for these brave men, those cops were just lying ducks. It takes a lot of bravery to engage in a gunfight, that too, when you have zero experience. Number 20, brave man stops carjacking. This is exactly how things should be. The community and law enforcement work together to keep the streets safe. A unit patrolling a neighborhood is alerted about a dangerous man in a stolen vehicle. They soon catch up to him and attempt to stop him but it's clear he's not about to give in so easily as speeds through busy traffic signals and intersections. 
He ends up crashing badly into another vehicle, but this guy thinks he's playing Grand Theft Auto or something as he leads the police on a foot chase to a local drive through He attempts another carjacking, but that's not going to happen this time around since he's picked the wrong neighborhood. The driver in the car behind steps out and quickly whips open the door, pulling the criminal out. He attempts to run again, but the police finally catch up as he's restrained by the Good Samaritan in the alleyway. This guy has my respect because he clearly puts his life at risk to help the cops out and save the day. That's it from today's video, folks. So, what do you think? What part did you find most intense? And have you ever witnessed some public justice? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos in the future.